If you rely on just your uh, pathological uh, diagnosis given by the pathologist by the uh, um, percent of uh, hormonal receptor positivity by uh, the KI67 well differentiated or poorly differentiated, you're going to be fooled because it's not 100% uh, accurate. We have been fooled by cases that we thought could be low risk and it turned out to be high risk and the other way around. So I think uh, you cannot predict 100% based on what's available within the hospital or based on your pathologist at hand. I think Oncotype DX is the preferable choice because uh, there are a lot of variations from pathologist to pathologist. And if you have a reliable test such as Oncotype DX, which would benefit patients and uh, stop uh, giving harm to certain patients who would not benefit from chemotherapy, I think that's the biggest uh, issue that we have today. What was seen from a patient's perspective is if you explain to the patients that doing a test that is $3,000 plus, it might benefit them and it might save them uh, chemotherapy which would not benefit them. Most of these patients welcome this test and they actually, if they, uh, the insurance does not provide for the test, they actually come up with the money because at the end of the day, they won't, don't want to be uh, exposed to chemotherapy that might not do them any good. As you know, you know, chemotherapy does have toxicities and side effects. If we could spare some women from the toxic uh, effects of chemotherapy and just give them hormonal therapy, I think that's definitely a positive. So when the patient is appropriate, I think Oncotype DX is the way to go.